Fun Hustler here. Today we're gonna go on a hot shot. I got my friend Dennis with me. What's going on? Peeps? Yeah, so we're gonna go on a hot shot. We're gonna go to thrift stores and make some money. Lots of money. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of Mini Spaceship or the Space Pod or the Escape Pod. I don't even know what to call this thing. We're gonna go hit some thrift stores today. Here with my friend Dennis. What's going on? I'll put your Instagram right down there. Um, yeah, you can go follow him. He's a thrifter here in Austin, Texas. We're gonna go find some profitable items at thrift stores that we can flip on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, things like that. Join in on the fun. Make sure you subscribe and let's go. Here are Savers, first stop of the morning before we get to the Old Lady Thrift Store. Hey, I'm taking him on the route, the Bonafide route. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Um, yeah, I mean, last time I was here, I found a pair of boots in the morning, so it was pretty cool. But uh, we have to make it to that line pretty soon. See what we find here? The hunters have arrived. Oh man, thank you. What you want to look for? This is pretty cool. This is worth a little bit of coin. It's kind of like really annoying to test it out. Yeah, this is the Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster 458 wheel. Check the price on it. Really not for 15 bucks size and everything versus what you're saying to make. It's not really worth it. But this is a Thrustmaster 458 steering wheel right here. I don't know. There are better options. Old school Genesis, there you go. Pretty cool. So I was talking to Dennis about what I look for in the toy area. So it's kind of blurry, but let me show you. So this is like a typical toy area of a Savers, for example. And one of the things I look for more than anything is really RC stuff, like very important. So I, I look for crawler bodies such as this. This is a pass, but you know, it's kind of like the same thing. It's kind of the general thing of what I'm looking for. I'm also looking for vintage and retro RC stuff, more specifically Radio Shack stuff, Tokyo RC, Nico, um, things like that. And that's what I look for here because those things can bring those things can bring pretty good money on eBay. All right, so there's the bag section. Doesn't look like anything amazing. So yeah, Dennis hit me up the other day. Um, I think you actually bought all my guides the other day, right? Yeah, I did. Or for, more for his wife. Yeah. Um, but then I was just like, since I know him, I was like, hey, let's just go hustle one day real quick. And so we did, but yeah, he scooped up all the guides on a really good deal. And I'll pay you later, man, but how do you like the guides? Oh man, they're fantastic. Everybody's wow, they're great. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'll pay you later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. Did you make it through all of them? It's hard though, right? It is. And I went through the bikes one already, but yeah. um, haven't gone through anything else yet. Yeah, they're long. Yeah. Have you seen the shoe one yet? I, I looked through it. It's huge, man. Yeah. It, 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 these, these guys, the shoe ones, enormous. Hey, we're in the shoe section talking about the shoe guys. Yeah. There you go. Uh, best shoe I've ever found in this Savers was a pair of golf shoes that's actually in the shoe guide. Sold for over, like around two, maybe two thirty something or whatever. Cheap. They were like ten bucks here. At this Savers. I remember those. Foot joy. I don't see any shoes today. Check out this little blunderbuss looking steampunky thingy. It's not really worth the resale money, but still nevertheless, it's cool to look at. Here in the glass case at Savers, just checking things out. We don't see anything here either, so. Uh, there's a bag back there, but it's nothing really good just by looking at it. Um, got some Oakley HDO optics right there, but that's not really worth anything. Those are Oakley prescription glasses, you don't mess with that. I don't see anything here. All right, let's go wait in line at the Old Lady Thrift Store. All right, we're here at the Old Lady Thrift Store, and uh, Dennis just called it a cheddar hole. He's never been here before, but he's calling it a cheddar hole. That's cool. Could be a premonition for some good stuff. Either way, we're finding some good things today. I already know that. We're going to wait in line. The line is not that big. We've got like maybe 12 people. That's good. You okay with waiting in line? I'm okay with it, man. You can kind of see through and check out what you might be able to find in there. You ready to find some cheddar? I am. We've had some big talks out here. We sure have. <laughs> We're talking about some crazy things. Yeah. Not even hustling related. It was good to have a little pouch. Hi. A little radio down there. Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna put some Sennheiser stuff. I'm gonna look at the CDs real quick. And Dennis is popping out some shotguns for eight bucks. Pretty cool, man. Good find. Space Pod has seen its first inventory from a stranger. Um, <laughs> we've got some Chaco sandals right there, size 12. Really, really good sandals. Now, what I like to do, they're eight bucks a piece. 
It should sell for around 40, I would think, right? I think so. Yeah, so what I like to do when you get these little fuzzies and stuff like that, just take a really good sharp pair of small scissors, um, like the ones that you would maybe clip a beard with for, for real. And then just get the, all those little things off. It takes two seconds and it, it's more presentable and uh, it'll sell for more money just by doing that. But yeah, these are in great condition and you can see when you flip them over, they're in really good condition. Nice find, dude. Lake Austin Goodwill here with Dennis and we are gonna go in here and see if we can find any good cheddar. We're also, I'm gonna take a cart this time. Last time I came in here, it's like, man, I need a cart so bad. Um, I made sure to put this Goodwill on the itinerary for the Green Room Meetup, which is like in two weeks. So we got a Black Diamond like uh, climbing harness here. This is good stuff, but like, it's a little bit harder to flip because, you know, you never know if it's been turned in because it was defective and you certainly don't want someone like buying a defective climbing harness from you. So I kind of stay away from things like this now. Because, I mean, think about the, the moral stuff behind that. If someone texts you back like, hey man, my friend fell off like... Ooh. I don't know, I kind of stay away from those now. <laughs> oh, the bag section. I wish someone would teach me about this stuff. <laughs> there's a guide out. Yeah, there's a guide by some guy, Bonafide Hunter. He's kind of a douche. But he knows his bags. Oh, sweet. I love this thing. It's so cool. One of the sections I really enjoy in, in this Goodwill particularly is this active kind of wear section. And uh, they got shorts in here, you got fleeces, North Face Denali fleece right there, 25 bucks. That'll pass. That's a pass, but like you can find mountain biking shorts and stuff like here. And mountain biking shorts are a good thing to look for, um, you know, wax, wax jackets and stuff. So all that, maybe even a Filson flannel, not like this, but you know what I'm saying. So all the kind of stuff you can find in this area, at least in this Goodwill. So we didn't find anything there. Um, you know, I saw some cool things, but uh, I'm looking for some definite things. And so we're gonna go now a little bit more to Central Austin. We'll score some tacos too, but I wanna see a couple more thrift stores. So we're here in the Goodwill, the next Goodwill. And this is a very expensive Goodwill, so I don't particularly think where I'm gonna find anything here. I'm not gonna be negative or anything, but it's just, this one you gotta hunt hard to find a good deal. But this is the new one though. So uh, you've been here before, right? I have. I what have. do you think of it, man? It's, it's well organized, right? Well organized. Premium. Pricey. Yeah. It's definitely a premium to most things in this Goodwill. I used to see some climbing shoes in the background here. Look at these. Look like climbing shoes. Yeah. Some Montreal. Some grip tonight. So I walked out finding this J. Crew a Bing Don bag right here, which is kind of like a leather and cotton slash canvasy kind of bag. It's a weekender slash duffel. Those are very important words you want to put in eBay when you're making a listing for this thing. Plus, you also want to stuff it with like towels or pillows to give it structure. When you put it on eBay, you use some really good high quality keywords. Plus, you make sure you take some good pictures and uh, approximate dimensions in the description. Should have yourself a pretty good winner. This was ten dollars. Should sell for around eighty or so. Right, so we are here, parked in the neighborhood behind Bolden Creek Cafe. We're gonna get some awesome tacos. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Man, I almost showed him the spaceship in that in that whip there. Oh, look at this. This is more hints of the spaceship. The escape pod. <laughs> it's our escape pod, man. We're gonna escape and get some tacos though. Got to get the laptop with me, man. Take zero chances here. Yeah, man. All kinds of stuff get broken into in this neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood too. That's the sad part. All right, we're gonna get another hint of the spaceship, the way it sounds when I lock the door. Here we go. Oh, sounds cheap. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Park the spaceship here at Bolden Creek Cafe. The one and only. Only one in existence. You hungry, bro? I'm hungry, bro. Yeah, what are you getting, dude? I'm gonna get the egg ran. There you go. And the egg meal. All right. Yep. I'm gonna get, I don't even know. I'm gonna get something. They have so much good stuff here and none of it has meat. It's all vegetarian slash vegan friendly. Oh, it's all so good. So if you're in town, guys, I want you to come here. Very important. So we finally got our tacos and those are his egg tacos. You can barely see them, it's a little blurry, but it's all good, trust me, that's egg. And uh, I got some tofu tacos right here. It's gonna be good, fresh made salsa. Hey, you know, it's about a decent reward for one bag day, you know, but we're gonna be finding more stuff, so here we go. Last good will of the day, those tacos were so good. How are those tacos, man? Oh, they're excellent. Yeah. Excellent. 
We've been talking so much other things than hustling. And I think it's really important things, things that are going to help me in my next stage of what I'm creating. Are we talking about good things or bad things? Great things, man. Yeah, <laughs> great things. Great things. We were, we were talking great things. Plus, you got some hokas there. Yeah, man. 15 bucks. How much? Eight bucks. That's not that bad. Huh? Are they nubs? These are actually nubs on nubs. They're decent condition. Yeah. That could, yeah, it could be a look up. It's probably good to go, quite honestly. Hoka is a good brand. Birkenstocks. Nice. This could be a buy. They're all kind of high priced though. Little bag section right here, nothing crazy. It's a very deceiving brand. Clark's. Yeah, it's a brand that's got like 10% of good stuff and 90% not so good stuff to hustle. Or maybe like 80 20, but still. Deceiving stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna grab these broken stocks right here. They're women's and they should sell for around 80, maybe 75 bucks. They're $20 here. We'll get through the glass case. See if there's anything to buy here. Hmm. Oh. Hey, that's cool, man. This looks like a. I don't know. That looks like a sunglass case back there, right? It's a sunglass case, right? It is a sunglass. Yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It is, right? Yep. That's yeah, that's a sunglass case right there, isn't it? Yeah. Dennis popped on some hokas. What do you think, man? Cheddar. Cheddar. <laughs> and they were ten bucks, right? Uh, eight. Seven ninety-nine. Eight bucks. Yeah, that looks good. And it should sell for around fifty, right? I think so. Not too bad. At least. These are the Burks right here. These are actually nice. These are called Jose Burks. Um, a little bit harder to find. Man. Still worth about. Still worth about 75 to 80 bucks in good condition. Look at all that shiny, corky, and they are mint sun. Look at that. So that's it for the hot shot today. Nothing crazy. We just want to do a quick one. I was thankful to have Dennis here. Good What's conversation. Up? Talked about some good things, right? Yes, we did, man. We did, man. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing me. You'll, you'll see him again at some point. I think he's going to end up helping me test out uh, my workout program when it comes out or when I start building it. He's going to test it out as it gets built. So very interesting stuff we're talking about but yeah i'm gonna leave him to his hokas and his he got footwear today some shoes to bucks yeah. good ones and uh we'll be seeing him we'll be seeing him later on i'll see you guys at the house but thanks for watching up until this point so i'm back at the house i had a lot of fun hustling with dennis i hope you like this video make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and more bonafide hustler videos will come down the line take it easy guys goodbye